Some Muslim women in Nigeria have expressed concern over what they perceive as a high rate of discrimination against women who wear hijab in society. This view comes on the heels of World Hijab Day commemorated in over 150 countries on February 1 every year. New Central's Omolola Ololade has more. The hijab has raised some controversies in recent times, with more Muslim groups insisting on their right to wear it in places where it had been previously banned. World Hijab Day is a day set aside to enlighten the public about the significance of Muslim women cover of modesty. Several incidents of discriminatory acts against hijab wearers underscores the need to create mutual respect for all religion in Nigeria. On this premise, this coalition of Nigerian Muslim women calls for a stop to the discrimination against hijab wearers across the world, as wearing of hijab is a means of identity for Muslim women and an expression of their religion. So the significance of having a day like this is to push out what we Muslim women face on a normal or on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm sure if you ask anybody on the street, now did you have any any challenge, you know, for you know, register uh, taking your international passports or registering to vote, they will tell you, okay, maybe there was a long queue or there was no network. I am sure they will not tell that they've been sent back because of the faith they practice. But for a Muslim woman, the first concern would be, will you be sent back because you are a Muslim? Will you be sent back because you are wearing the hijab? Will you be asked to bring out your ears, which will nullify the hijab you are wearing anyway, because you want to register to vote like every other citizen in a society? So these are usually the, the challenges we face. And so we have to bring it to the fore so that something can be done about it. All institutions and both private and public were also enjoined to embrace hijab wearers and not to allow their constitutional right to freedom of religion be an obstacle to their right to education. One of the things we did in 2020 was to visit secondary schools as young as they are to sensitize them on the significance of the use of the, use of the hijab as a female a Muslim. Uh, so this is one of the things and even in tertiary institutions there are quite a lot of things that are put in place to explain, to, to tell the world what the hijab actually stands for. We are a forum where we um, enlighten our members, our students, through, in fact, those various organizations do this, MSSN2. We have um, monthly programs, we have weekly programs where we advise or where we pass information to these children to tell them the significance of wearing a job. The um, active characters that are expected of someone who wears a job, and also even train them. We have programs that we train them to be leaders in future. You know, despite the challenges being faced, examples abound of Muslim women who have made remarkable achievements in their various fields of endeavors, lending support to the cause that religion should not be an obstacle to inclusion in society. Not a crime. My rights. My choice. Omolola Ololade reporting for News Central.